In our e-reader series, we showed you how to download books directly to your device using OverDrive. Today we will show you how to access OverDrive online and download books to your computer. With this option, you can more comfortably browse the full version of the OverDrive site, access and transfer files from your computer, and burn audiobooks to CD. To begin, go to marmorlibrary.ca, scroll down, and click the download button for OverDrive. You will need to install some software to your computer before you can download books. Choose OverDrive Media Console for audiobooks or Adobe Digital Editions for ebooks. Click on the link and follow the instructions to download the software. Note that for Adobe Digital Editions, you will also need to create an online Adobe account. Once the software installation is complete, you will be ready to log in and select titles for download. Scroll to the top of the page and select Login. Select Marmor and Lake Public Library from the list. Type in your library card number, remembering that the P at the beginning is the only letter. The rest are numbers. And click Sign In. This will take you to your account page where you can see items in your cart, change your lending periods, see what items you have out, your holds, your wish list, and see titles that you have rated on the site. Return to home and you can begin browsing. There are several ways you can search the OverDrive website. You can simply browse the center section for featured titles, search by genre, or use the quick search feature to search for a specific title, author, ISBN, or keyword. Today we'll search for Jim Butcher. You can choose to search only for titles available for immediate download or leave this box unchecked so you can see titles that would be available to put on hold so you could download them later. Click search and you will see all available titles in both ebook and audiobook format. You can narrow down this list further by searching within the results for say a specific title. There are no copies of this title available for immediate download, but you can add it to your wish list so you can remember to come back later, or you can place a hold. If your email address is not already showing, please add it here and here, and then click place a hold. It will be added to your holds list and you will be notified by email when it comes in. You may click to continue browsing and search for another title to download. You can try another search showing only available titles. Once you find something you wish to download, Select Add to Cart, and once you've selected everything you wish to borrow, proceed to checkout. You can choose your lending period here, 7 or 14 days, and then confirm your checkout. Click Download, Open, and the first time you do this you'll need to select the appropriate program from a list. Click OK, Browse, Adobe, Adobe Digital Editions, and then select the EXE file. Make sure this box is checked and select OK. Adobe Digital Editions will open and your book will be available. Your book is now available to be read on your computer. Use the arrows to navigate or scroll through the pages. If you wish to see something else in your library, click the library button and then click that title. We'll now try the advanced search to locate an audiobook. Click advanced search you can choose title, creator, keyword, or ISBN to search for. 
We'll try Creator today. Then choose the format you wish, in this case, Audiobook. Search. And when you find the copy you wish to download, select Add to Cart. Proceed to checkout. Choose your lending period. Confirm checkout. And select download. This will now open up in Overdrive Media Center. Click OK. Yes. And click OK again to download your files. This will take a while. Once the download is complete, click on your book and you'll have it to listen to. As long as you remember to hit pause before you shut down, it will automatically save your progress for the next time you come back to listen. When you are finished with the book, right click, select delete, and select return delete to send the book back to OverDrive. That concludes your tour of OverDrive. If you have any further questions, contact your librarian. Need more information or help specific to your device? Go to the Excellent Digital Help section on the OverDrive website and you'll find all you need.